Hello everyone, back with me again Dennis Wang and I have here with me a mini fridge aka Sonic Mega 8K Let's have a closer look The whole body is made from metal Very good Front view acrylic USB port A very big touch screen And unfortunately the power switch is at the back here Now let's open the front door it comes with dual rail and a ball lid screw so this should be very accurate and stable for the build plate itself it has perforated holes to help resin flow during the build plate lower and i like that the build plate sits in place very nice and the resin tank it comes with two handles this is Sonic Mini 4K build plate compared to Sonic Mega 8K build plate. And this is what's included in the box, a user manual, two types of power plug, the USB flash disk, plastic spatula, metal spatula, a funnel, some stickers and uh, an Allen key, and the after self service warranty. Now for the user interface, this is where you print your model. Info, this is to turn on and off the beeping sound. In the tools, it shows quite different from previous frozen printer. It has network, LCD test, Z calibration, VAT cleaning, and touch calibration. We do not see any manual movement, but it is inside here. This is the manual movement up and down. Now let's do the real test. Move up one millimeter twice. And down one millimeter twice. Very good. Now I will move it from side to side. I do not see the dial indicator move, but I could see the whole printer move. I think my test is too weak for Sonic Mega 8K which is 35 kilograms. I need to change a stronger desk. <laughs> now for noise level. Around 68 decibel, a little bit more choir compared to Sonic Mini 4K. And for the screen itself, it is quite flat to the surrounding platform. Let's check for light uniformity. Um, what do you guys think? It is okay ish, I guess. Some light blitz from under and at the back of the printer, so make sure you are not putting your resin stock anywhere near the back and bottom of the printer. I just finished my first print on Sonic Mega 8K, which is a leveling tester to check the build plate level and bottom exposure. You guys could check my other video about perfect bed addition if you want to know more about leveling tester. My leveling tester result is very good. I'll stick to the plate which means the level is good and I use bottom exposure 25 seconds a quick tip if you want to have a drip hanger for your build plate you can use this door hanger or door hooks for your build plate to drip the resin because it sits very nicely in the build arm and this is what the packaging look like And that is the size. And all you have to do, simply place the handle to the hook. And no hassle on 3D print your own drip hanger. Because it is made of stainless steel, so it is very strong. The print just finished. And this is the first batch of my test print models, all looking good. And a quick advice if you are a beginner. Don't print full build plate yet. Build your confidence and knowledge by print less item, but success, rather than have lots of fail and getting stressed out. 
because you might need to adjust your print settings again to print full build plate and as you can see i don't even print half build plate because i'm still adjusting for the best print settings here are the print results on Mega 8K and I will compare it to Mini 4K print. Mega 8K has 43 micron X-ray resolution and Mini 4K has 35 micron resolution. First, I'm truly sorry for not showing much of test print because I encounter wobble problem with the printer so I only print the usual model that I used to test print on printer review because originally I was planning to print something big and details and I already asked the community to uh, share their models if they want to see the result printed on Mega 8K and considering the situation, I better fix the wobble first hopefully with the help from Frozen Support and let me show the stability torture test result this one is on x-axis, you can see the wobble lines and the very rough surface. I already tried several, several lubricants but still same result. And this is on the y-axis. Well, different from the wobble problem on my Mini 4K, the wobble only happened on the x-axis but this happened on both axes. So I printed more object to check the wobble. You could see the regular line here. And let me show you what I have done so far to check and test and recalibrate everything. I think I know how to fix the wobbles, but it required to replace some parts. And this printer is definitely much more expensive compared to Mini 4K and still under warranty. I decided to contact Frozen Support and they told me to print these models and I could see the wobble. Sorry, but it is kind of hard to capture in the video. You could see the wobble here. And I already sent this print result to Frozen Support and I will make follow-up video whenever the printer wobble is fixed. On additional note, when I print something with the very high details, it helps to hide the wobbles, but I know it still exists here and then here and then here. So hopefully I can fix this and we shall see how the frozen support work. For entilizing, I can confirm that it works really well. And I pick my best entilizing setting, which is image blur 2, the most balanced to keep details and could blur out voxel. So I will be comparing the print result from Mega 8K to Mini 4K only with entirelyzing on, but I will still give comparison on Mega 8K print with and without entirelyzing. Now let me show you my buddy here, Sergeant Silas, on the right without entirelyzing and on the left entirelyzing image blur 2. The result is quite good on both with and without entirelyzing and even better with entirelyzing because the details on the helmet scratch here uh, kind of affected by the voxel and the details here with entirelyzing the helmet scratch become much more pronounced and interestingly, on Mini 4K, you could still see some faint of traces of the voxels on Image Blur 2 compared to on Mega 8K. No trace of voxel at all. So it looks like the entirelyzing works on Mega 8K is much better. And if we look at the scratch detail on the helmet, Focus, okay. Interestingly, 
it seems much more crisp details compared to mini 4k and i this is 35 micron and this is 43 micron so this should have a better details but i don't know the print result shows that mega 8k prints could be much more details compared to mini 4k what do you guys think let me know in the comment section and here is yin silim both print on mega 8k right without analyzing left with image blur 2 you could see the voxel here and almost no voxel here i could still see a very faint voxel but the surface is much better and look at the face it is very smooth and clean the detail is still very good and this is without entalizing we could see the detail is kind of less compared to with image blur and this is without entalizing you could see the lines for the eye here is kind of hard to see compared to this line on image blur 2 same with the hair voxels everywhere very smooth for the hair details here on the right mini 4k on the left mega 8k and i could see the details for the eyes here much more pronounced compared to on mini 4k uh, am i right and for the details on the tie armor here the chain mail yep it still seems that mega 8k produce a much better detail compared to mini 4k 35 micron very interesting and for the facial details i would say both are equal for the print angles at bottom here without entalizing and the top here entalizing image number two the surface is very nice with image blur 2 the smoothness although at some angle here i could still see artifact lines on image blur 2 and with this model here yes i could still see some artifact lines on image blur 2 and this is i believe could be caused by the wobbles from the printer and here the lowest angle the surface is very smooth here artifact lines on without entalizing this is with entalizing and on this one six scale head sculpt on the right without entalizing on the left with entalizing you could look in the eyes here we have voxel no voxel and also at the side of the head here you could see a lot of voxels and no voxels at all now in comparison with mini 4k on the right and what is interesting for me although both are printed with the same resin from the same brand uh, but with different exposure it always end up with a different color it could be because a different batch of the resin production uh, as you guys know i printed this head sculpt way long ago when i first owned mini 4k and this is print with a newer resin well that could be the reason Somehow the print on Mega 8K seems more shiny and both print with anti-aliasing image blur 2 but if you look at the pores details over here compare here in my opinion uh, please let me know if I'm wrong Mega 8K also seems much more detailed compared to Sonic Mini 4K details but yeah very weird that mini sorry I mean Mega 8K prints 
much more shiny and seems more glossy compared to Mini 4K. You could also look at the eyebrows here. The lines for the hair seems more details compared to print with Mini 4K. This letter comparison here, both print with Mega 8K on the right without anti-aliasing, on the left with anti-aliasing image blur 2. And I could say that both details are quite the same. The only difference is the artifact lines on the print without anti-aliasing. And now to compare it with Sonic Mini 4K print, both with anti-aliasing image blur 2. And yep, very interesting because the details on Sonic Mini 4K is kind of faded compared to Mega 8K. And for the super tiny letter here at the back, I cannot tell it. I cannot, I cannot see anything. Now for this Hedzor tank, right without anti-aliasing, left with anti-aliasing image blur 2, and I could see a lot of artifact lines all over the print without anti-aliasing. But for detail quality, what do you guys think? It is hard for me to tell the difference on print quality for the details. And here comparing both with anti-aliasing image blur 2 on the right Sonic Mini 4K on the left Mega 8K. It seems to me that the surface on Mega 8K much more smooth compared to the surface on Mini 8K. Eh, sorry, I mean Mini 4K. But in terms of the print details, look like looks like both pretty much the same. So for now, that is all I could share for my print result on my not so in-depth test on Mega 8K due to the wobble problem. But I have to admit and also feel weird that Mega 8K details are much better compared to Mini 4K. That could be the cause from the higher light intensity from Mega 8K, which means it can cure layer faster, but it doesn't suffer from light bleeding. So that is very awesome. And if you guys don't want to miss the follow-up video if I manage to fix the wobble, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support my channel directly, you can check my pattern link in video description. I have print this test print model that Frozen Support requested and I have sent them the email for the photo of this test print result. Now I only have to wait for the reply from Frozen Support and see what is for next move. So see you guys in the next video. Thank you Tangraph for becoming my patron.